Hello everyone. This time we are going to explore Uishan in the Fujian province. And I have no idea what we're going to do here because this time I'm that lucky that uh, someone took me here. And while we're here, I will tell you while I'm exploring and everyone is looking around at me what we're going to do here. We just had our first activity and if you think after this video, why is there that much rebel? Well, because also in China sometimes it rains a lot, especially during summertime. And it was that narrow inside the bed cave, what was our first activity, that even I couldn't walk straight anymore, but I had to walk sideways. So that doesn't happen that often. Um, we went into a bed cave that was well, very narrow, and the story behind this cave is that before there was a ghost living into this cave, but the god came to rescue the people from this village, from this ghost, and to make this happen, he split the stone, and that's the reason why he can now walk through it. And, well, the benefit for the beds is that they have a very nice place to live, and the benefit for us is that we get very soaked inside the cave. Let's move on to the next one. second activity in Uisha, which is a popular bamboo raft down the river stream. It's the original way of transporting goods down the river and we are now going to experience that for ourselves and we are not the only ones because it's very crowded and very loud here with a lot of tourists who have the same idea as us. second day in uh, Uishan and before uh, we're moving on to the next activity I need to tell you what happened yesterday evening because first we went to uh, a performance near um, in the village which tells us about the different traditions what's going on here about the tea uh, also about um, a love story between a goddess and uh, a local boy I didn't catch the story completely but it's still worth visiting for everyone because besides that Sorry for the interruptions. Apparently two Boops Mountain just passed by. There was something from yesterday doing the rafting. Every time when we saw a rock, they always had a story about this is two Boops Mountain, this is King's Rock, this is uh, two turtles uh, on top of each other, this is an elephant. This is always uh, something uh, that happened during uh, the trip at that time. But talking about uh, the performance, the performance was quite impressive and still worth visiting even if you don't know anything about uh, Mandarin. Because what happens basically, they have a stage, and the stage is on a very large uh, turning, well, turning point, turning vehicle, turning platform. And this platform is able to turn the stage. So first, in front of you, there's a part of uh, part of the stage, and then it turns to a very old setting. And then even uh, at the end, there's a part where it will turn to uh, first. It looks like a plain background. But then it even lights uh, the river behind it, the forest behind it, it's able to light uh, the mountains behind it as well, which gives a very impressive sight as well. So even if you're not able to understand any Mandarin, it's definitely worth visiting because it just it is very impressive how they put this show together. But that's it for you now. We're now going to climb Tianyo Peak. Climbing Babai Shishiba or 848 steps, you'll reach the top of the hill which contains a temple. And this this whole region basically behind me is uh, named after Uish, well, U and E, who made this uh, region prosperous, and that's why this region is called Uishan. We're finishing our Uishan trip here next to the tea. Because Uishan, if I didn't tell you yet, is famous for its tea. Because all the tea in the world, well at least all the tea in China, but I think all the tea in the world, is coming from this region. And next to me, up there, is the Dahongpao tea tree, 
which is three hundred forty years old, and there are only six of those uh, tea trees left. So no one is uh, picking uh, teas from those trees anymore. There are some brothers and sisters of those tea here in the field. There are not that many anymore, and all the tea is going to the president. So no one is able to taste those anymore, except if you're a very high class royal, then uh, maybe you're lucky enough to get a, a gift from the president here. But that's it for Uwishan, and I will see you hopefully in the next video. And as always, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and see you next time.